What's up graphic designers? Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about the liquify function. And so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be manipulating the emotions or facial expressions of a handful of lab students. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is simply use the rectangular marquee. I'm gonna make a selection around just the face uh, berate here. And we're gonna press Command Shift X. Command Shift X pulls up the liquify function. And now here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna maximize this window for just a moment. And I can see that there's a lot going on on the right side of the screen. But if I hold command and click once, left click once on the mouse, we can increase the size. Um, Braid, thanks so much for being such a brave soul for this little endeavor. And here's what I know. I know that we've got all of these options on the left side. We're going to primarily be using the forward warp tool, the pucker tool, and the bloat tool. So let's take a look at the forward warp tool. So what we can do with the forward warp tool is we can grab an element and we can click and drag. So it looks a little bit like this. There we go. And all of a sudden, Braid is looking awfully handsome. All right, so that's one example. Um, here's what I know. If we use the rectangular marquee, we can make a selection. Command Shift X. I'm gonna hold Command again, I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm gonna use the Ford Warp tool and we can give uh, Derek a nice smile, but we can also use, in addition to the Ford Warp tool, we can use, we'll do the Pucker tool. And so what I'm gonna do is I recognize that right now the brush size is at 189. That's great. You wanna have it probably between 150 and 250. And when I left click, oh, there we go, sorry. And when I left click, you'll notice that it draws it in, it puckers. Okay, and that looks, that looks amazing. Nice job, Derek. Thank you so much for your participation. And now we'll move in on Tyler and Lex. I'm going to make a selection, Command Shift X. I'm going to hold Command. And so we've talked about the forward warp tool, which means when you click and drag, you can extend it in the direction that you drag the mouse. But um, in addition to the Pucker tool, and this is a little bit too big, right? So I'm going to drop it down. This is maybe a little too small. All right, we'll try this. We've also got the bloat tool, and the bloat tool works probably as you think it would. Whoa, all right, so there we go. Great, very handsome, tremendous. And so here is, here's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, I'm gonna click File Open, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to this Liquify Emotions JPEG, and what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be using the PNGs of your classmates um, and sort of like recreating these emotions as best as you can. You're gonna wanna see this emotions template, we'll call it. It's actually a page from Making Comics by Scott McCloud, as well as your PNG at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna left click the tab itself. I'm gonna pull it down. And then I'm gonna like shift it actually off of the, off of Photoshop. And you guys have more real estate on your monitor to work with than I do. But I'm gonna just shift this over just a tad. And let's try um, the first emotion that I'm going to try to create is disgust. So here is what I know. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to press Command Z to undo what I already did. And why not? So I'm going to press Command Shift X since it's already highlighted. And I'm going to zoom in just a tad. And now actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this window to the right. And so there I've got disgust. Okay, so now I can see exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna wanna sort of pucker the eyes, right? And I'm gonna increase the size just a tad. Okay, so let's like, maybe it's, maybe it's a little something like this. Okay, and it's pucker the mouth a little bit. And then I'm gonna use the forward warp tool to, to shift over his lips, shift this in just a tad, and all right, Tyler is definitely looking like he's full of disgust. I'm simply gonna press okay. We're gonna press Command C and then Command V and there's Tyler. We're gonna press Command T to increase the size. And there we've got our very own disgust. Check to confirm, beautiful. Uh, so now let's do another one. Which, one. which one do we want to do? Sadness, fear, or surprise? We'll try, um, let's try surprise, why not? So we're gonna, Use the rectangular marquee. Oh, you know, it doesn't even matter. The elliptical marquee would work as well. It's not that serious. Command Shift X. I'm gonna hold Command and I'm gonna zoom in. 
And this red area right there means that we can't influence that area with the uh, liquify function. It, it's masked out. All right, so I'm gonna shift this over, and you know what? Um, you know we'll do we'll do fear. Why not? We'll do fear. So I'm going to uh, increase the size of his eyes. And you know what, guys? All right. So you might have to manipulate the size of your window. So I'm shifting that over. Okay. And this size is 273, way too big. All right. So I'm increasing that. That looks good. All right. So he's definitely full of fear. I can see that. I'm going to use the forward warp tool. Oh, yeah. What is Lex afraid of? I need to know. Lex, what are you afraid of? Shout it out as a... Uh... Lex, what are your deeper, deepest fears? Shout it out while we're doing this. It's okay. Lex, let us know. What brings you fear? What keeps you up at night? Okay. And you can really like adjust the size of the brush. So there we go. There's fear. I'm gonna press okay to confirm. Um, you know what I don't have a fear of? failure and maybe i'm failing right now as a teacher or maybe not i don't know i'm gonna press command t uh check to confirm um but i do have some fears i'm looking forward to sharing them with you check to confirm all right so ladies and gentlemen you're gonna try to recreate as many of these emotions as you can today using the liquify function let me know if you have any questions good luck